and why is it summer in one country but winter in another? And why do we sometimes need jackets and other times we wear shorts? Why do the leaves change colors? And why do flowers bloom in spring? And today, we are going to explore the super cool topic, how do seasons happen? Okay, this is a quirk. If the egg doesn't just spin to make the light, it goes around the sun. That's called revolution. And guess what? The egg takes one whole year to make a full trip around the sun. The wind is the coolest part. The egg doesn't sound straight like a soldier's. Instead, it's tilted in a 22.5 degree angle. See, like this. And this tilt is why we have seasons. When the Earth moves around the Sun, different parts of the Earth lean toward or away from the Sun at different times of the year. When your part of Earth leans Towards the sun, it's summer. When your part of Earth leans away from the sun, it's winter. So more sunlight equals warm summer. Less sunlight equals chilly winters. Here's a fun fact. When it's winter in Canada and the USA, it's summer in Australia and Argentina. Because while the northern hemisphere leans away from the sun, the southern hemisphere is leaning toward it. Cool, right? It's like a cosmic seesaw. And what about spring and autumn? In spring, Earth starts to lean towards the sun again. So everything work, wakes up, flowers bloom, and birds sing. In autumn, the Earth starts leaning away, and the trees let their leaves go, like they're getting ready to snuggle up for winter. Ah, fall. The season of crunchy leaves and pumpkin spice. But, have you ever wondered why leaves turn orange, red and yellow? It's because when days get shorter and cooler, trees stop making chlorophyll, the green stuff in leaves. So, the hidden colors come out like magic. What about places with no seasons? Some places near the equators, like Ecuador or Singapore, don't really have seasons. That's because they always get the same amount of sunlight all year round. So, it's mostly warm there all the time. Crazy facts about seasons. The longest day of the year is called the summer solstice. It happens around June 21st in the Northern Hemisphere. The shortest day of the year is the winter solstice, around December 21st. The coldest place on the Earth, Antarctica, has six months of winter, with almost no sun. But when it's summer there, the sun doesn't set for months. They have their own version of the midnight sun. The Earth is actually closest to the sun in January. but. It's still winter in the northern hemisphere. That's because distance doesn't matter. It's all about the tilt. Okay, that's all for today. But I will come back to explain more cool science facts with you. So please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye bye.